Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing good today. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're going to be looking at the energies for the end of April. Remember, you're not going to resonate every week with my reading, and that is totally fine. Okay, let's see the general energy for next week. We have the justice card so beautiful energy of balance feeling like you're finally getting what you deserve what you know you deserve this is obviously ruled by venus it represents libra so a lot of love definitely in a situation we love that we're gonna look in with the tarot and see what is up with that it's happening with scorpio next week Okay, we have the five of wands in the reverse for you. So you might feel like you want to let go of a situation that was either fighting with someone or just being unhappy with a relationship, a situation. It could be at work. It could be with a friend, family. Uh, the five of wands in the reverse to me, it's either making amends or letting go of something that used to be really frustrating to you. The five of wands is a lot about a clash of ego. There's something that just doesn't connect anymore with someone. But now seeing it in the reverse, it's like you're letting go. You're letting go of something that just made you unhappy, was frustrating in the past. So we'll see what is up with that. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. So see, we're letting go of something that makes us feel unhappy, frustrated, and now we're having a brand new beginning. Ace of Wands is my favorite card in the tarot. It's like a big yes from the universe. Something is starting. Um, it feels a lot like it's connected to love, seeing the Justice card here, or just some of you, if you were thinking about changing job moving forward uh that could be it that could be you realizing that you're not gonna you're not gonna find peace at work necessarily you're not gonna get really what you want so you manifested a new job and now it's happening but it could also be a new beginning in love let's see what we have here yeah chariot beautiful energy it's like you're getting your confidence back. I don't feel like you lost your confidence, really. It just feels like at one point you stopped wishing for something. You were like, okay, it's going to happen when it happened. Like, I can't really force this thing to happen. And now you're happy you followed your intuition into uh, manifesting a new job, manifesting a new relationship, because I do feel, especially... Cancer energy, getting out of your shell, you know, it's ruled by the moon. Your intuition was telling you that something was just not going to work your way. And you decide to let it go. This is how I'm seeing this intuitively. Okay, really vague. Let's see. Tell me more about this situation with Scorpio. Yeah. You definitely took your time about making a move about something. You were, again, see the moon is here again in the two of swords, listening to your intuition, protecting your energy, uh, something you were on the defensive about for a while. You're moving out of this energy, so that's beautiful. First of all, it means that you're respecting yourself, you're respecting your boundaries, your limit, and instead of you know, going with the flow in a situation that doesn't make you happy, you just left that shit. Or you're thinking about doing it. And seeing the Ace of Wands to me is a confirmation that what you want to do, this thing that you want to change, that you want to move, um, that you want to leave in the past, it's a good thing. I love that. And anytime you see an Ace, hands in a tarot, it represents give and take. Here we have a give and take, an equal give and take with the justice. So... The energy you're putting it, you're going to get back. You know, we put in the energy, we put in the manifestation, the effort, and we're getting back something positive from it. So this is really positive. Definitely. 
someone or something was making you feel really triggered, uncomfortable, and you were like, something is fishy, like something is just not working. I deserve more. And maybe you were hesitant. Uh, I feel like for some of you, it's literally either living with a roommate or a friend, a family member, a situation or a coworker, something. Someone just, their mentality, the way they are, it just didn't work with you. And instead of, because I know Scorpio, you guys are really patient, I found, when it comes to relationship. You are not one to judge and you have a really open mind. So I feel like you accept people for who they are. But in that situation, you realize that there was no freaking way that you could have this person in your life. And I do feel like it could be a friend or roommate or coworker. Yeah, the strength card. You were patient. And at one point you realize, okay, I am worth so much more as a friend than what this person can give me. Or as, you know, I say friend, but it could be so many things. You realize that you weren't giving yourself enough credit for the type of person you are and for the type of energy you could bring into that situation. I feel like you were devoted, you were present, and the other person just, they weren't on your level. You realize that there was no way this person could get on your level. Yeah. And by clearing out that energy, you're moving out of the five of pentacle energy. And the five of pentacle leads to the six of pentacle to stability, to balance, to an equal give and take. So that's why it feels like the message, it keeps on coming out. There was a situation that was an equal give and take. You were giving way more, way more energy. You were patient, devoted, and the other person just, they didn't even see all the work you did, all the energy you were putting into that situation. Yeah, someone has to leave a relationship behind and I don't feel like it's necessarily love related it could be if it's your story I feel like it could be a friendship yeah see the lovers in the reverse lovers in the reverse to me feels a lot like a friendship uh, that isn't serving you anymore you don't necessarily hate this person. I think that you know how to uh, keep your energy for yourself and not spread hate necessarily. It's not about hate. It's really about someone who just doesn't get what you're saying. They don't get the type of person you are. Yeah, you're dealing with someone kind of special here. Okay, let's go and clarify. I'm going to clarify today with the Aquarian Tarot, the Italian version. This is one of my favorite deck beautiful imagery let's clarify the five of wands in reverse we have uh, the judgment card okay i'm sorry it took me a second <laughs> to realize what this card was so the judgment card again you see you're done with that situation you're moving on you want to close a cycle it's not completely closed yet there is still uh you know, maybe conversation that you need to have, but you got to a point where it wasn't serving you anymore. Really particular message today. Okay, Ace of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. So again, confirming that I don't feel like this thing or this move that you want to make is done now you're thinking about it you're planning it and you're sure that it's going to be happening maybe you're looking for okay how am i going to tell this person how can i just move on and not hurt this person because i don't feel like you're uh driven by hate at all i don't feel like i'm talking to a scorpio who is hateful towards another person you even feel bad a little bit because this, the situation just, it makes no sense at one point. Beautiful energy. We go from the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands. So it's evolving fast. You're doing good. You're on the right track. 
Let's clarify the chariot. Okay, we have the page of cups. I love this energy. Listening to your inner child. So doing what's best for you. Maybe you maybe you knew this person for a really long time. You know, at one point you love them a lot, you care about them. It was like a forever deal for some of you. And then nah, it wasn't working anymore. Maybe they said something to you and it was like intuitively I'm feeling someone who say like one last shitty thing to you and you're like, I am done. I have used all my patience with you. I just can't do it anymore. It doesn't serve me. I am worth more than that. And I am moving on. I really feel like it's a friendship, my love. I don't know why. I don't feel like it's about love. Some of you might connect to the love aspect of this. But I feel like it's a friend. Or a you leaving work because your boss is being a freaking a hole <laughs> but i really do feel like it's about friendship but it's a positive thing it's really you clearing out your energy and being able to start fresh this person just was kind of bringing you down but i don't even think they know two of sword let me clarify we have the high priestess again the moon i think it's the third time we're seeing the moon here yeah Already the third time in that reading, listening to your intuition. Some of you, if you consider yourself a witch, a magic practitioner, you know, uh, you work with energy. It's not for everyone, of course, but you literally try to ban this person. Like you literally got in tune with the moon and asked for this person to leave your life because they were draining your energy so much. I love that. You're listening to yourself. You'd rather not have this person in your life and go solo if you have to this is not an energy you want close to you this is a triggered energy someone who is always on the defensive they just want to argue for no reason there's no room for conversation uh someone who doesn't see the world the same way you do literally you know let's kind of find the nine of wands we have the queen of wands. You're moving out from a defensive energy and then see, work. we have the witch of the tarot here. I was just talking about working your magic. The queen of wands, she works her magic. That, that's what she does. Uh, and you don't have to connect with the word witch. You don't have to be practicing magic to work your magic. This is you literally manifesting this person to get the F out of your life. So again, I'm really emphasizing on the fact that you were so patient. You were patient like more than ever in that situation. And I do feel like Scorpio, you guys are really faithful friends. When you give your love, you really gave it and forever. But in that situation, you're like, I just can't. There's no possible way. This is really literal, guys. It's like it keeps on coming out. Confirming everything I say. Let's clarify the strength card. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So, literally, you respected your energy. You understood. And it's not that you understood your value. You just... it. You respected your values in that situation. And by doing that, you're moving out of this shitty energy. And you're putting your faith into the universe. You're like, listen, I'm cutting out this energy. I'm moving out from this situation. And now what happens, happens. It is none of my business what they do with their life. It doesn't belong to me. If they're mad, trigger, uh, hateful towards me. I really feel like you are not going to use hate against that, that person. You really just want to move out of this energy. So I hope someone relate to that. See? Ace of one. How beautiful is that Ace of one guy? Look at that. I'm obsessed with that deck. Ace of one, a major yes from the universe. So if you've been thinking like, should I do a move? Is this person really bad for me? Is it just me? No, I think that the universe wants you to make a move. Definitely. You felt stuck at one point. 
it feels like I'm talking to someone who is highly spiritual and the other person, they're so rational. They don't want to listen to what other people have to say. I'm literally seeing in my head like many people tell, calling off this person because of their bad behavior and they don't understand. It's like you can't give love and attention and time to someone who doesn't want to receive it, doesn't even know how to receive it, you know? That's why I feel like at one point you were like, you know what? It's not even that I hate you. We're just not on the same level. It's never going to work. Okay, let me pick an advice card for you for the week. We have hold your vision, fixed moon. You're not crazy for wanting to move out of this situation. Hold your vision. Be patient. It might not happen in one day. But this feeling that you have, your intuition, what it's telling you, follow that. Really important that you do. Fixed moon. Hold your vision. So you know what to do. If you needed a confirmation, you have it here. But I think that it's something that's been um, kind of cooking. You know, the two of wands to me is literally a cauldron with all the food inside and it's cooking. It's not ready to eat yet. It's not, it's not done. But you've been thinking about this for a while. And I think now you're going to be making a move. And the last card was the Wheel of Fortune. By doing that, you're going to be... And Wheel of Fortune also is a fixed energy. So you've been stuck in this situation for a while, in this energy, and now you're moving out of it. Starting the month of May and Taurus season by nurturing yourself, respecting your boundaries, and knowing that you have a lot of love to give and you don't want to be dealing with low vibe energy. No? Okay, my love, so... If you relate to this reading, let me know. Give me the tea. I want to know who is that person. Is it a friend, a coworker, a boss? Uh, I'm, I'm a landlord. You know, it's someone that is not necessarily a lover, but they were kind of important in your life at one point, and now it's just done. Okay, Scorpio, thank you for your support, and I will be talking to you in a couple days for your soulmate reading. Okay, bye-bye.